Hi, everybody. This is our first version of Hitting the Books. Great to have you with us. All season long, we're going to take a look at some of my favorite reads, some of your favorite reads, and some of the favorite reads of managers, ballplayers, and broadcasters. And remember, this is just for fun. This is not designed to criticize books or to be critical. I am not a uh, book critic but I do love to read. It's something, thank God, I developed early in life in a little town called Old Town, Maine, where I spent a whole lot of time during my youth at the library just pawing around the books, and that really led to a lifetime of reading. So I thought we'd start out here on our, on our first video with what has been always the, my favorite book. I think I read it for the first time in the seventh grade. It's The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway, which was written back in 1952 and is considered one of his best works. For me, I've always thought the book represented life. It's the story of Santiago, the old fisherman, who struggles after 80-something days without catching a fish, and the youngster he's trying to mentor is pulled out of the boat by the youngster's parents because they say Santiago's forgotten how to fish. So Santiago ends up going out alone one day, and he hooks into the big one, the marlin. Unfortunately for him, it's not him reeling in the fish, it's the fish taking him on a very long trip that lasts for some two plus days. It's on day number three where he's finally able to pull that fish in, get it up to the side of the boat, then he's got to try and get it back to shore. In doing so, he loses most of the fish because the sharks arrive. And when he gets back, there's not much left. He's barely alive, and he just heads to bed. After that, Santiago's recognized again as the great fisherman. But the whole story is what goes on at sea between him and the marlin. Why does that represent life to me? Well, think about it. Here's a guy who had a profession and had done it for a long time. Then somebody tells him because for a few moments he doesn't succeed at it, he's no good at it anymore. So he goes out on his own, he succeeds again, and then when he's made the big catch, the sharks arrive. Sound familiar? It's kind of what goes on in life at times for all of us. The Old Man in the Sea, Ernest Hemingway. It is a tremendous read. It is not a long one. And it is a book that over the years I've gone back to over and over again just for the pleasure of reading it. I do want to give thanks here in our first video. When you take a look uh, on our blog site at the book cover, it's the Oxford Exchange in Tampa, a tremendous bookstore and a very nice cafe. It is visited by a lot of baseball players down here in the spring and by the Yankees during the course of the year. The Oxford Exchange did a special edition of The Old Man on the Sea, and that cover is what you see on our site. I hope you're going to enjoy this. I am. I'm excited about it. A chance to share with you and you share with me what you like to read. These long days on the road during a baseball season provide a lot of time for doing that, and that's what we're going to talk about. Thanks, everybody. Adieu.